Mars has a diameter approximately 0.5 of that of the Earth, and a mass of 0.1 that of the Earth. The gravitational potential at Earth's surface is this, and we're trying to work out the gravitational potential at the surface of Mars. So gravitational potential is equal to minus gm over r. That's what we're going to be considering. Let's write down some of the information that we have from this question. So diameter of Mars is equal to 0.5 or half of that of the Earth. And the mass of Mars is equal to 0.1 or a tenth of that of the Earth. The gravitational potential at the surface of the Earth is equal to minus 63 megajoules per kilogram. Okay, so in our equation, what we have over here, we don't have diameter, we only have radius. So let's convert this equation to one which involves the radius of Mars and the radius of the Earth. Diameter of a circle is just equal to 2 times the radius, so we'd be replacing this with 2 times the radius of Mars, this with 2 times the radius of the Earth. The 2's will then just cancel, and that equation would then just become the radius of Mars is equal to a half of the radius of the Earth. Okay, so we can use this equation here, this equation here, with what we have here. So replacing that last equation with a proportionality, so V is proportional to M over R, G is just a constant, so we can just remove that from our proportionality. And then we can think about what happens to the mass and the radius as we go from the Earth to Mars. So the mass is a tenth of what it was before, and the radius is a half of what it was before. So replace the m and the r in this proportionality with the factor by which they change. So the mass gets multiplied by a tenth, the radius halves, and v will get multiplied by whatever this is. A tenth divided by a half would be a fifth. So v gets multiplied by a fifth. The original value of gravitational potential in the Earth was minus 63. Multiply this by a fifth, and we end up with minus 12.6, which is about minus 13 megajoules per kilogram, and that would be A.